Hello, this is Matt with Brickle 3. Here's my clone army collection. Everyone been buying so many battle packs. So like the file first battle pack, I'll show you guys right now. Sorry about the, the darkness and I'm gonna shine my light. Here's here's the file first army. I bought two file first battle packs. So I get to have six file first clones, two file first jet trooper and a soaker trooper. Of course, three, uh, Three two or I, know, I forgot what it was a call, so I just call her Ahsoka Clone Trooper. That's like the easy way. And here's Captain Rex. Here's a here's a two on twelve. I know it's kind of disappointed because the Phase Two Cody and Lego did not give us because before the summer set, the General Grievous Starfighter, we we're like, oh my god, we get to have Phase Two Cody, and they gave us the Uda Power Trooper. I and mean, it's alright, but it was like an updated version. But this is the 2014 version. Has the orange arms. I mean, that's totally fine, but, eh, just whatever. Here's the Kashyyyk Trooper. Here's Commander Gree, the Phase 2. And my thoughts about these two are really great. And here's some random clones. So, you got, you got Phase 2 clones from 2005. And you got a Phase 2 clone from 2014. The Clone Turbo Tank. The Microfighter. So, speaking of Microfighter, here's a Clone Pilot from 2015. ARC-170 Microfighter. Got some phase one clones from the Clone Wars and Attack of the Clones. So these two right here and the Clone Wars, the regular phase one clone and the bomb squad. Here's the, the Republic Trooper from the Old Republic. So I got this one from 2013, the 75001. Because with Republic Troopers, of course, they give us two and two Sith Troopers. Not the one from Rise of Skywalker, the red one. The old school one. Here in the front row, this is my custom clones trooper, and I'm gonna I'm gonna start them off first. Here's my custom clone trooper, so I want to start off this phase one clone. So this is like the this is like the clone trooper from the Clone Wars series from 2003, and remove his helmet, angry clone face, same torso from the Clone Wars TV show from 2008. The light printing and the helmet, it's like, this is from the Attack of the Clones. And I bought this helmet on eBay because I need it to, uh, to build my clone trooper, like custom. Here's my second clone trooper. And as you know about this, I messed this up because when I was like a little kid, I used to sharpen my Lego minifigures. And now I'm just like, stop doing that because it lose printing and lose valuable. And got some red arms in the back. Got some Sharpie right here, and I'm trying to race it off. Here's the pauldron. You know, I don't really like that pauldron because it's way too long, and the only thing I should have done, it should be in this level on his elbow. And you can see a crack on the torso, and it's real old. And this helmet, this is the helmet from the snow trooper. Remove his helmet, angry clone face. And the back that I did, I just take take off his backpack, and I just want to make it like like this version, just like the normal snow snow trooper. We don't know that back then they gave us a regular old school snow trooper. Comes with the backpack and the helmet itself all together. And 2014 they did an updated version snow trooper. And this one right here, it's an unknown. It's like unique, like just custom clones. And this helmet, this is from the 2013. The Republic Trooper, remove his helmet. Got him a smile face, like an angry clone version. Like a smile face. In the back, got the torso. I felt like doing like a review, but I am doing a review of the clone troopers. And this is a this is a torso from the Bomb Squad Battle Pack. The uh, sand green and get some green arms. Here's the Republic Trooper from 2013. Republic Trooper versus Sith Trooper Battle Pack all together. And that's pretty cool. Like, if you buy a battle pack, like good guys versus bad guys all together. You know, like the Final First Battle Pack comes with the uh, Battle Droids. I'll talk about that later. So I just want to start off these guys right here. So they give us two of them. You remove the helmets. Their faces are different. They don't give us an Ingram clone face. And I like this gun right there. It's so cool. Like, wow. The binoculars and some random pieces. 
Wait, hold up. There you go. Here's a phase one clone. Here's my first clone trooper. When I started getting into Lego Star Wars back then. And I got this minifigure. Comes with the uh, two phase one clones with the jetpack. As we all know about the droid tank from 2009. And then I got the clone trooper battle pack. Comes with three phase one clones and one clone gunner. I broke it apart because when I was like a little kid, I used to break apart a Legos that just like to build some cool stuff. No leg printing. I like the printing on the torso, remove his helmet. Got a weird angry, I'm not going to say angry clone face. A weird clone face that we ever remember. And I, I did not change the angry clone face because I just like the way it looks. To keep it original. Here's the bomb squad trooper. It's kind of cool, but... This is like my least favorite because we don't see them a lot. Only we see, see them in like one or two episodes or three, I guess. Remove his helmet. I gave him an angry clone face to make him more. I just like it the way it looks better. And the helmet itself, I just like it. It's so orange. Like it's not printed. It's just so orange itself. Like I never seen this before. And got some printing on the helmet. I got some like less printing, like this one right here. And I bought these two on eBay, and that's new for me. I know a lot of you guys are gonna comment, "Oh, how come you don't buy the Republic gunship from 2013?" To me, I I just want to let you know that that's that's one of my most wanted it, Lego Star Wars set, and, and it's really expensive for now these days. Like you want to buy it as a new sealed, it's gonna cost you way much. Here's a clone pilot from 2013. I was going, I was about. I was going to pick up the 2015, the one with the light printing, but I was not going to pay full price. And I got him as a good deal. Remove his helmet and the clone face still. And I like the printing on the clone pilot. I felt like this is like my first time having a clone pilot like this version. It's kind of like this one, like with the yellow marking. And finally, one of my most favorite phase one clone is the clone captain. The reason I picked this one minifigure because he's he's like one of my most favorite Lego Star Wars minifigure in general. Remove his helmet, anger clone face. So this is like my, one of my most thinkable Lego minifigure at all times, and I give him a rifle. Next we got Phase Two clone troopers from Episode Three. So we got Phase Two clones from. 2005 we got the updated version from 2014 and the comb pilot and this is from the 2015 arc 170 micro fighter first we got two phase two clones the original version remove his helmet no face same thing here's an old school blaster so i have this minifigure without the helmet so i was decided to buy it and complete Next, we got this clone trooper, the updated version from 2014. You only get this from the clone turbo tank in one set. I've, I kind of felt disappointed. And this should have come with more sets of this minifigure. Remove his helmet, angry clone face. Here's a clone pilot from 2015. So he's a guilty face in the back, the angry clone face. Here's the Uda Power Troopers. I know it's kind of disappointing because Lego should have given should have given us Phase Two Cody from the General Grievous Starfighter set from the summer 2020, but they gave us this Uda Power Trooper, the updated version. That one, in my opinion, is okay. And here it is, the one with the orange arms. And this is the 2014 version. In 2020, it was like a fully detail, and the helmet is not really updated. It. So. And here's an angry clone face. So I picked this battle pack, like the Utapau Trooper battle pack, and I pick up the General Grievous wheel bike because that was the whole scene of the the whole battle, the battle of Utapau scene from Revenge of the Sith that we all know from. The last time we ever got Commander Cody is from the 2011 set, the June Ocean Starfighter comes with Keanu Moody. You guys already know what I'm talking about, and I didn't mention these two guys right here. So back in 2014, I super glued my minifigure right here 
and I can't remove his hip. This is why this is how I did that because I was watching a Lego movie and like the whole scene of the super glue called the craggle when you glue your Legos. And I know it's kind of dumb for saying that, but I would never do that again. Next, we got the Sheik Troopers. Like about four or three months ago, I did a review and here's the box of the Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack. I did a video like about four or three months ago, but I just said that already. If you guys haven't watched it, go ahead and check it out. I'll put it in the link in the description. Here's Command Degree, pretty cool. We haven't seen these two guys in the movie and we see these guys in the movie. But these, these two, they killed off by Yoda, chopped their heads off during the Order 66. And here's a Kashyyyk Trooper, pretty cool. And what if, what if I look at this? It looks like a it looks like a Scout Trooper, like a little bit, but because the helmet and olive green and clone face. Here is Clone Commander Gree. This is like my favorite Clone Commander. Remove his helmet, still wearing a clone face, and I love the helmet because it's silver. Well, not just white. Well, pretty cool. I like it. I like everything about the colors of the face. Two clones like red, orange, yellow, you name it. I really love it. And these guys that I talked about that we don't see them in the movie. I think actually, let me know in the comments. You guys see these guys in the Battlefront 2. I never played it. So those of you guys have played it in the Battlefront 2. Let me know in the comments. You see these guys. Maybe like the custom version. Doing a clone face, and here's the olive green, the phase two clone helmet. So this is, came from the ATAP from the 2014, and four years later they did a remade, and I was not felt excited for it, but I didn't really care. I was like, eh, it's a remade, whatever. But I already have the 2014 version, and I like that one better. But I'm not saying like I like that one more than the other one, but it was I was like, meh. And finally, the file first army. As we all know, as the Lego community, we want the file first battle pack. This is by Emerald Production. As we all know, as a Lego YouTube and Lego in general, I wouldn't want when I bought one file first army. I know a lot of people have been buying more file first battle pack. If you go online, they they are sold out and out of stock. I went online and I was going to buy online, and they sold out. And I went to Walmart. Target and I went to I went to all my local stores and they are sold out. And here's the picture of it at Target that was after and when I bought the file first battle pack. There's like a name tag that says seven five two eight zero, and it was empty on shelves. I went to Walmart and I bought one file first battle pack because that was the last one. And then I went to Target and I bought the last one still. I did a video of that. Go ahead and check it out. I'll put a link in the description. And here's Ahsoka Clone Trooper, came from the AAT set. And guess what? We get to have a new clone face. And they don't give us an angry clone face anymore. This is the same thing as Jango Vet because they both have the same DNA. Here's Captain Rex. If I were you, I would never buy this minifigure because he is so rare. Came from the set, the 75. 012, the Bark Speeder comes with Obi Wan and Commander Droid. You are gonna, you already know what I'm talking about. If you go on eBay or Brick, Bricklink, I never use that website, so I went to eBay a lot and I searched this minifigure. And this minifigure is so hard to find. This minifigure, the Phase Two Captain Rex. And when I found it, I was so surprised because it cost like a hundred dollars because he's one of the most popular characters in the Clone Wars series. As you know, he has he has like the low holes. He has the low antenna. Remove it. I wonder how they did this. I'm not gonna mention any sellers' names, just for safety reasons. So now I get to get I get to have six file first clones, two file first jet troopers, and that is it for today. So I want I want to do like a special video about the file first battle pack, like my full experience. So you guys don't know what I'm talking about, and. Like my full thoughts about it, but I'm not going to talk about it in this video. I forgot something. Here's the pauldron, the one I talked about. Lego should have made this pauldron like way down to your elbow where to end. I wonder how they did this. And I talk about the, the little holes on the face, you clones. 
Lego should have done like that, and this one does not. And I'm not, it falls, it falls easy, and I'm trying not to do it, just not knock it off. And I didn't talk about the Ahsoka clone trooper. And you get this minifigure in one set. I'm going to say it's something. If you look in the back, it looks like a regular Phase Two clone, like this one. Like look in the back, same thing. And the only thing is missing is the blue arms. Like the rest of these guys should have blue arms, but the only thing they have is Captain Rex and the File First Jet Trooper. I really like this File First Jet Trooper, pretty cool. And I really love the blue jetpack. And I really like the whole printing itself, like little red marking and different printing. So that is it for today. I know a lot of you guys are going to say in the comments, oh, how come you'll get Commander Cody? Because I don't have that minifigure. And I hope Lego should give us Phase 2 Commander Cody because that would be whole entire complete of the Utapau army. Like the Kashyyyk army with Commander Gree, the Fall First army with the Captain Rex. And here's one of my most favorite Lego clone trooper, clone captain from the Republic gunship. And these two guys came from that, came from that. And I know a lot of you guys are going to say in the comments, oh, how come you don't buy the Republic gunship? How come you don't have that? I know back then I wanted that set so bad and it's, it's really expensive, like $120. I know it's kind of like a, um, a less price. It's like a good deal. But I know nowadays days, if you want to buy it good as new, like new seal in the box, I will pay for like $500 or $700. I'll, I'm going to be like, uh-uh, I would never buy that set. But it's a great set, and I really like this Phase 1 Clone clone Captain. One of my, one of my most favorite clone trooper. Okay, that is it for today. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.